If you created a new free trial account, when you sign into Frame.io, you'll see a selected default project named Demo Project under your company name and the files in that project. Above your company name, clicking on Frame.io gives you access to a variety of settings. Here, you can upgrade your account, add and manage members, change your account and personal settings, learn about apps and integrations, get information on updates, support, and sign out of your account. Clicking Upgrade opens a window containing the individual and company plans we discussed in the last lesson, including a definition of team members and collaborators. Selecting a plan here takes you to a screen for entering your credit card info. I'll click outside the box to cancel that. Clicking Add Members takes you to a management page. You've got Company and Personal Options on the left, and Users and Teams is selected. Selecting Add Members, Account Settings, and Personal Settings from this pop-up will each take you to the same management page. Teams is only applicable if you have an enterprise plan. Under Users, you can invite new team members. If you add a new member, you choose a role for that member. Admins can manage branding and billing, while regular members cannot. Enterprise plans, in which you can have multiple teams, include an additional option for Team Manager, who can add or remove people to and from teams and assign other members as managers. Since this is a free plan, limited to one member, I can't actually add a member here, so I'll cancel. Let's switch to a paid account so we can see a list of members. Here, you can sort by name, last seen or role, or search by name or email, which is useful if you have a lot of team members. If you select a member, a side window opens where you can change the role between regular member and admin. Let's change that back. You can remove existing members by selecting them and clicking Delete. From the Frame.io pop-up, if you choose Account Settings, the Dashboard section is selected. The Dashboard provides a quick overview of your storage use, how many members and collaborators you have, how many projects, files, and the total duration of all your media. The Branding section allows you to add a logo, change the name of the account, add information on the location and a website, set presentation accent, background, and text colors, which need to be entered as hex values. And by the way, you can modify these later when you choose to share a presentation and add a description. If we go back to the app, we'll see the updated company name here. If you select a project, the custom logo appears here. The location, URL, and description information are only visible in the branding section. If we go back to the Frame.io pop-up, choose Account Settings. In the Billing section, you can transfer ownership to any other team member who has an admin role. Choose another plan, either yearly or monthly. View Invoice and Payment History. And update the payment method. If you choose Personal Settings from the Frame.io pop-up, the Email slash Password section gets selected, where you can change your email address and password, enable Google Authentication, and log out. Under Profile, you can add or change your image icon, edit your name, location, and phone number, and add a bio. The location information will appear in the account settings under Users and Teams. The phone and bio information only appears in the Profile section. Under Notifications, you can set the frequency of your email notifications from immediately down to daily. Set your time zone, and then identify which projects you want to send you notifications. To set the type of activities that generate notifications, you go to the settings for each specific project, which we'll look at in the next lesson. Under Apps and Integrations, you can learn about and download Frame.io for the iPhone, connect or disconnect Vimeo to your account, see your Slack connection, and learn more about integrations with Final Cut Pro 10, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. We'll be covering these integrations in depth in later lessons. Finally, from the same Frame.io pop-up menu, 
you can select Product Updates to view release notes which contain useful information on new features. Status Updates provides the system status of the website, API, iOS app, extensions, support pages, and email, as well as an incident record. The Support slash FAQ link takes you to a searchable FAQ, along with helpful articles on the web app, integrations, and security. And finally, you can sign out. In the next lesson, we'll dive into working with projects.